Hey everyone, this is a critical update on a developing situation that's gripped the world's attention. Today, I want to talk about a tragic event that's unfolding and the global reaction to it. On Sunday, a devastating airstrike in Rafah, a town in the Gaza Strip, claimed the lives of 45 Palestinians who were sheltering in a refugee camp. This attack, carried out by Israeli forces, also left 200 others wounded. The target, according to the Israeli military, was Yassin Rabia, a high-ranking official of Hamas. Despite the military's description of the strike as precise, the consequences were undeniably catastrophic, sparking fires that tore through tents housing the displaced. In the wake of this tragedy, the situation on the ground in Gaza has been described by the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees as hell on earth. The sights and sounds coming out of Rafah are nothing short of horrifying, with continuous airstrikes adding to the chaos. Families seeking refuge have been met with more bombs, severe shortages of food and water, and rapidly deteriorating living conditions. As we speak, the international community, led by the UN Security Council, is gearing up to discuss these grave developments. The Council is set to meet today with high stakes on ensuring the protection and assistance for the over 1 million people who have fled Rafah in just the past three weeks. The ongoing offensive has left them with no safe haven amidst unrelenting bombardments. This situation poses serious questions about the efficacy of international mechanisms in dealing with such crises. How can the global community effectively respond? What measures can be put in place to prevent further loss of innocent lives? These are some of the urgent questions that need answers as the UN Security Council convenes. As this story continues to unfold, I'll be here to keep you updated with the latest information. The world watches and waits, hoping for resolutions that bring peace and safety to those affected. Stay tuned and take care until next time.